here. Yes. I've been waiting. I guess we should get started. Yeah, what's poppin' y'all? How y'all feeling? I feel like I haven't seen y'all in a whole week. So what's good? If y'all new here, my name's Ciara, and this is Self-Made Energy. What we want for nothing because we can manifest anything. This week, I am clearly not prepared for this intro. But silly old me was editing and realized I didn't record an intro. So I just jumped right in and was like, here we go. Let me just explain to y'all what's happening because... You need to know. You need to see me before we jump into the project, which is this beautiful bench right here. Oh, my God. This bench was so much fun to make and apparently so frustrating <laughs> because literally on the very last step, I broke it. Like, literally on the very last step. Like, the very last all I had to put in was like two more staples and I broke it. <laughs> so yes, but it still works. I never ended up changing it or fixing it after I broke it because I was frustrated. I had a very nasty attitude. So I left it how it was and it works just fine. Nobody knows except me and now all of you, but whatever, who cares? I don't have guests anyway. <laughs> But yes, let's get into the video because as usual, I've been talking about nothing forever. So let's go. <laughs> All right, so boom, this is what happened. I got three wooden milk crates. Maybe you could get these from any craft store. And the first thing I did was glue them together. And because these is wooden crates, I used wood glue. And now I'm just going to make sure they're extra sturdy and put four screws in between each set of crates. So I have three crates, so I'm gonna put four screws to connect all three of them together where I put the glue. And this is what it looked like. And now that I have the base figured out, I'm gonna work on the top. So I used these two pieces of wood. I also got these from a craft store. They were like $3 a piece. I don't remember the sizing, but they clearly aren't big enough. But anyway, I just got some hinges and I attached the hinges on the side and you guys I would attach more hinges specifically right here I originally only attached the two because that's all I had laying around the house but I definitely should have went out and got at least two more because I ended up breaking it but we'll talk about that later I moved on to attaching the legs and to attach the legs I just put some glue just to hold them firmly in place and then I screwed them into the bottom and I just did them slanted just so it could be kind of cute not really for the structure but yeah that's how they turned out so now I'm just gonna work on the top and these are just some fabric bolts I got from Joann's they usually just throw them away so you can just ask them if you can have a couple I'm sure they won't mind they're trash anyway but yeah I just cut some up and measured them out to the size that I needed and I put down some wood glue and glued them into place you're also going to want to make sure that you have something heavy nearby so you can weigh everything down while it's drying because you are going to want to have that weight so there's a nice strong connection while the glue is drying and nothing is lifting but yeah, I moved on to cutting out the inside top that would be the last layer. So you don't actually have to cut this out now. But since I was using it to balance my cardboard, I figured why not cut it out now. So that's what you see me doing. I just marked out where I wanted to cut out. And then I used my X-Acto knife to cut along those markings. And I put those pieces to the side. Once that was done... I put a heavy amount of glue. I smeared it all around. Make sure you get it everywhere just so there's a nice strong connection. And I used a nice, long, sturdy piece of cardboard right on top. And I did two layers of this. So once I was done putting down this layer of cardboard, 
I put a bunch more glue and spread it all around and then I put another piece of cardboard because I want this chair to be as sturdy as possible or this bench not chair although I'm using it for storage I might sit on it maybe I'll have a guest I don't know I haven't had guests yet but whatever maybe one day in the very far future I'll have a guest <laughs> but anyway I wanted it to be sturdy either way so I put as many layers as I could but I digress because I've clearly gotten carried away and the video has kept going without me so here you see I've got some thick foam and this is for your comfort but also to add some height to the seating as well and I don't remember how many inches this is I didn't bother measuring it because it was just trash and I thought why would I throw this away why would anybody throw this away who considers this trash yes it's too small to sell but give it to me so that's how I got that <laughs> but anyway I just sprayed down some adhesive and attached the foam in a way that it was correct for seating and it wasn't really the best shape as you can see there was a bunch of cuts and all bumps and all this but that's all right because that's what this batting is for place the batting over it and it smooths everything out like those lumps and bumps weren't even there so one man's trash is another man's treasure I don't know why anybody ever thought that was a lie that is forever the truth <laughs> but yeah I also just put some spray adhesive to connect the batting to the foam and make sure everything was nice and smooth I also used the hot glue gun just for the bottom of the batting just to make sure it was very stuck right at the moment because I knew I had no patience and I wanted to move right into attaching the fabric so yeah hot glue for my impatience <laughs> it's finally time to attach this beautiful gorgeous amazing fabric I'm so in love with it it's so naturey it's so fairyish it's just I love it it's amazing <laughs> but anyway I attached the fabric in the same way I attached everything else so I just measured it out how much I needed and I sprayed down a little bit of adhesive at the time a little bit of adhesive at a time oh my god words are hard <laughs> I sprayed down a little bit of adhesive at a time because I wanted to make sure the fabric laid nice and flat and I wanted to have time to smooth everything out and make sure there was no lumps or bumps or gaps because the adhesive had dried or anything I just wanted to make sure it was nice and smooth so I did it little by little because that's the very last layer and it needs to look amazing but yeah to attach the fabric to the inside cardboards I just staple gunned them to the bottom I made sure it was nice and flat and I made sure to tuck in those edges like a present so I just folded them in and then folded them under make sure there's no raw edges and if you have any excess fabric you can just cut it off just get it out the way it'll just be extra bulk that you don't need so you can just cut it off and once the fabric is attached you just move on to the last step of putting on that last layer that I cut out earlier and this is where I broke it so I cut the footage here because I got a nasty attitude and y'all don't need to see that so I cut the footage but yeah I broke it right then and there the hinges came right off and it probably wouldn't have happened if I would have just waited for the glue to dry or maybe if I had more hinges and I waited for the glue to dry either way I should have waited so now it just has a removable top it still works and I never got the hinges but the top is removable now so whatever <laughs> and as you can see I whipped up a couple pillows as well because I'm extra like that but yeah let's get into that reveal finally mm -hmm. 